Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about animal cells and plant cells. So first of all, some definitions. Cells are the basic unit of structure in all organisms. They're the smallest unit of life and they are the smallest structures that are capable of surviving on their own. When we talk about organisms that are made of cells, there are two main types. We've got multicellular organisms, which are composed of many cells and then unicellular organisms, which are only composed of one cell. An example of a multicellular organism would be a human. We are composed of many, many cells and a unicellular organism would be something like a bacteria, which is a single celled organism. In this video, we're going to look at the two main categories of cells and that is animal cells and plant cells. So first let's look at animal cells. Here's an animal cell and we're going to look at its structure and function. We've observed animal cells and found that they have some basic features in common and here they are. So first of all, all animal cells have a nucleus and the nucleus just contains DNA. And of course, DNA is the instructions for making new cells or new organisms. So that's a very important part of the cell. The next thing that animal cells have is a cytoplasm. And the cytoplasm is a liquid gel where most chemical reactions take place. Next, we have the cell membrane. The cell membrane controls the passage of substances into and out of the cell. So it basically controls what can enter the cell and what can exit the cell. Next, we have the mitochondria. And this is where energy is released during respiration. So respiration will occur in the mitochondria and lead to a release of energy. And that energy is used for lots and lots of things. Lastly, in an animal cell, we have ribosomes. And this is where protein synthesis takes place. Protein synthesis just means that proteins are being made in the ribosomes and they are being made from amino acids. So that covers animal cells in general. Now we come to plant cells and algae. They have all the components of an animal cell plus a few others. So here are those things that we also find in animal cells. So like we find in an animal cell, plant cells also have a nucleus. They also have mitochondria. They also have cytoplasm, a cell membrane and ribosomes and they carry out the same functions as they would in an animal cell. In addition to these, all plant cells and all algal cells have a cell wall. And the cell wall is made of cellulose and it's there to strengthen the cell and give it support. In addition, some plant cells and algal cells have chloroplasts. And chloroplasts contain a green pigment called chlorophyll, which absorbs light energy in order to do photosynthesis. So photosynthesis will occur within a chloroplast. Now, of course, not all plant cells have chloroplasts. Of course, a root cell, which is under the ground, they don't do photosynthesis and therefore a root cell will not have chloroplasts. And lastly, we have a permanent vacuole. And the permanent vacuole is this space in the center of the cell, which contains sap. And the vacuole is important for keeping the cell rigid in order to support the plant. So here are those things once again that only are found in plant cells and algae cells. There's the cell wall, there's the chloroplasts, and there's the permanent vacuole. Everything else is in common with animal cells. It's just these three things that plant cells have, which animal cells don't have. Okay, so here's just a summary of all of these different parts of a cell, these cell structures, and also what their function is. So here we say a nucleus contains DNA. The cytoplasm is a liquid gel where most chemical reactions take place. The cell membrane controls the passage of substances into and out of the cell. The mitochondria releases energy during respiration. The ribosomes, this is where protein synthesis takes place. 
and a cell wall I'll just underline this in green because only plants have it this strengthens the cell and supports it made of cellulose chloroplasts again something that only plant cells would have contain chlorophyll and chlorophyll is a green pigment which absorbs sunlight permanent vacuole which is the third thing that only plant cells have and that contains sap and it's all about supporting the plant keeping the cell rigid okay so that was a video on animal cells and plant cells i hope it helped as always make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching